All right, we're gonna be finding the pes anserine, which is an insertion for three muscles on the tibia here. Um, so we're gonna be trying to landmark where that is, and we're gonna talk about the three muscles coming in and making that as an insertion. First thing I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be going up the shaft of the tibia, locating the tibial tuberosity, and I'm gonna be moving medial. So this is an attachment just below the tibial condyle. And we have three muscles, one coming from the anterior thigh called sartorius, one coming from the adductor group, gracilis, and one coming from in the back, one of your hamstrings called semitendinosus. So for this, I'm actually gonna prop the leg up and bring it out into a bit of a figure four. I'm just resting my knee on the inside of the table. And we're gonna quickly find those three muscles and lead them into their insertion. Sartorius, kind of the hacky sack muscle, I'm gonna have her just hold her leg up. So she's in an externally rotated position, flexing her hip, as well as keeping that knee in a flex position. You can see the outline of it in the mid thigh right here. So I'm just grabbing that distal part of the muscle belly. I'm gonna follow it behind the tibial condyle here. I'm still on that. This is the first muscle entering into this pes anserine and right in here it's starting to attach onto that bony object there. So that's the one coming from the front. Our second muscle is gonna be gracilis. It's the only adductor to cross the knee. I'm actually gonna get my partner here just to dig her heel into the table. So that nicely pops up right in this mid thigh area. So you can relax for me. It's gonna drop back down and then again, dig your heel into the table, there it goes. So again, I can grasp this one. Again, starting around that mid thigh, because I'm not going through the whole muscle, just following it to pes anserine. We can follow gracilis down. It's gonna start to go underneath sartorius. So right in this area, they're starting to cover each other. So again, following that to the same location. And finally, I'm not gonna palpate the whole muscle, but the hamstring semitendinosus. So if you reach towards the lower posterior compartment, there is semimembranosis and tendinosis here. I'm gonna strum in and out, and I'm gonna be finding a pretty obvious ropey tendon in the back. Again, by getting them to flex their knee, this is the semitendinosus tendon. And I'm gonna follow that. It's really obvious in the back of the knee right in here. It is the third muscle making its way into pes anserine. Now I do like to call this PAM for my own sake. That would be proximal anterior medial tibia. And that pes anserine, again, has three attachments. So if you are looking for something to massage on the medial aspect of the thigh or some support, some stabilization on the medial thigh in case they have maybe an MCL injury, please do not look past these muscles. They are really, really important but a lot of people just focus on pure quadriceps and hamstrings. So just a little short on bringing attention to the pes anserine today.